Welcome back to another glorious video. Today we are continuing with the EX01 exam questions and this video is the FT swap. I've taken the liberty of adding the stdio.h because we are going to use printf for testing. There are two different ways you can test this. One is the easy way, the other is a slightly more difficult way, but they both get the job done. So you can use whatever option is easiest for you. We must declare the swap as follows, like this. So I've done this, prototyping, I might add. So what shall we do? So we are going to take, we need a temp. We need a temporary placeholder to store our value. So let's just say in TMP. And now if we're gonna take A and B and swap them, we must first say uh, TMP is going to equal the address of whatever's at the address of A. This is, when you take a pointer as an input, you dereference. So you're gonna say TMP, an integer, is going to equal whatever's the dereference value of this pointer. So whatever we wanna call it. Then we must say, all right, so now the dereference of that is going to equal B. So we're just taking, we've assigned TMP to whatever A is. And then we're going to take A and assign it to whatever B is. Now we were going to take B and assign it back to TMP, which was the A. So you're just going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I don't know. So to test this, we are going to say int A equals 1, int B, B equals 2. And now we need pointers. So let's say int P A equals the address of A and int P B equals the address of B. Now we can have this, we can just directly say FT swap and we're going to pass in P A and P B. And to test it, we can come up here, but you have to remember to remo remove this, say printf and you can say percent D, percent D, new line, because we're gonna do before and after, so then we say, what's it, address of D reference, D reference of A and D reference of B. Let's copy that down. And then we'll have the same thing when it's done. So let's give this a go. Swap and then we're gonna take the empty swap and see. Alright, well we didn't seg fault or anything, that's a plus. And then FT swap. Okay, so you can see it goes one, two, and then two and one. The other way, if you want, we can just take this, is we can just do it down here. This kind of when it's up here, it for me, it's, I'm a little uncomfortable because you're not really returning anything. So there's, you wanna make sure that, all right, we can have a value before we go into the function, but then what's the value after we're out of the function? Whereas when we do it this way, we're in the function both times. So it's, it's a little bit more comfortable if I were to do this, printf, percent %d, percent %d, new line, and I wanna take, uh, a and B like this and then we're gonna do we actually do the function and then we come back and we do this again I guess we need this so there now you know without a doubt that your function actually swapped the values sometimes I have done programming where, and this is because I'm a newbie still, where I've actually manipulated the values in the function, but then once I'm out of the function, nothing has really changed. So the first way that we tested this is in the function. So I don't know, I, I don't like doing that because the whole idea is that FT swap is going to take two values and flip them. So you wanna, you wanna, you wanna be confident that it's actually worked. And for me to see that it's actually worked is to first take the initial value here, 
then run the function, and then be able to run this check again outside of the function to see if it's worked. This is the most surefire way of checking that. And as you can see, one, two, two, one. It's, it's definitely worked. So now we want to make sure that we submit this correctly, write a function that swaps the integers of the addresses of which the, our pass is parameter. So we would want to just, since we don't need, we're not using printf as part of this, we'd clean up this, clean up this, this, and then we get rid of the main, the line after the function, and then header. Oh, I thought I would have deleted that at the same time. Guess not. So just like that is what you would have in the end. Just make sure you norm everything up. It's, common, it's good practice to do that. Anyways, that's it for FT Swap. If this helped you, Give a like to the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again.